Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Arirang News AI anchor, Ari. South Korea's consumers were hit with higher prices this year. Data from Statistics Korea on Friday shows that in 2023, consumer prices rose 3.6% compared to the previous year. Statistics Korea mostly attributed the high prices to soaring energy prices and unstable weather. For the month of December, the on-year rise in consumer prices was similar to that of the previous month, going up 3.2%. Finance Minister Choi sang mok unveiled the government's approach to economic policies for next year during an emergency economic meeting on Friday. He announced that the government would focus on four key areas restoring people's livelihoods, managing potential risks, creating a dynamic economic environment and strengthening economic policy for future generations. A more detailed plan about how to achieve these goals will be released next week. The U.S. has made it clear that it has no hostile intent toward North Korea and remains committed to diplomacy. Yonam News Agency reported that a U.S. State Department spokesperson said Washington seeks dialogue with North Korea without preconditions. The U.S. official's comment comes after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un reportedly made orders on Wednesday to beef up the regime's war preparations. During a key year-end party meeting, North Korea discussed developing light industry and reviewed the 2024 budget, according to the regime's state-run media on Friday. Leader Kim Jong-un called for a sense of responsibility by light industry in producing necessities for school children such as uniforms. The party also reviewed next year's budget which will be confirmed by the North Parliament on January 15. A video has surfaced on social media showing Palestinian detainees stripped down to their underwear by the Israel Defense Force. The video shows two young boys holding their hands up while Israeli soldiers give instructions, and adult men sitting on the ground with their hands tied, some blindfolded, while soldiers inspect them while the international community is calling it a violation of human rights. Israel says it is for their safety. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.